This is code.org and let's talk circle and square patterns. This binary stuff that we're getting into can be tricky. So warm up if you were missing class or you want to go back over the content. How many ways can you represent seven? Ooh. And now what you might hit a wall like I did when I was thinking about this. I was like one, seven. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, what are they getting at here? Oh, there, I guess there's, I mean, I could do mm, mm, tallies. Mm, that's five, right? Six, seven. You know my drawing skills are great. Now, what else could I do? Ah, uh, well, I guess I could spell it out. So think about how we can represent numbers in a more than one way, even though this question seems simple at first. All right. With a partner, high partner, work out how many patterns made up of circles and squares you can make with three place values. These patterns could represent different pieces of information. So here's two, right? And here's another. Now, if we were keep going here, well, okay, um, circle, we'll pretend that's a circle and circle. And now what if I put a square, if I can make it look like one at the end, this would be another. So now we have three and I could keep going. How many could I come up with? Do this, share out your seventh pattern. So where you are going to be keeping track of those is right here. Now, if you didn't have access to a printer or weren't able to do this in class or you're doing it online like I am right now, I tell my students they could use a C for circle and an S for square. You could figure out some way to put in a shape here, but just a suggestion. Sometimes they'll note for me C is for circle and S is square just to be handy. All right. So what would that mean? Well, let's see. They have two circles here. So record all the possible three place values. They give you some, I'm going to start with some that they don't have. So I'll say square, square, circle. What else could I do? Well, I could do square, circle, circle. What else could I do? And that's what they're asking. They're asking us to come up all these different patterns. Now, reflect on the same pattern above in order from line to line. Are there any rules to follow? If you didn't follow clear rules, redo the challenge with some rules in mind. What they might be by rules is I started out with a C at the end, then I put C's here. Well, now I could do all C's. Okay, so now I've covered the C's. Now let me do the same with S. C, C, and I'm going to flip this last one to S. Then what? C, S, S. So they're wondering if you have some pattern you follow to make sure you cover all of your bases more patterns. Use your rules from last page to try to generate all possible for four. And again, uh, if you're using the CS approach, you would make a note of that here and get going. So, okay, four, C, 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 all circles, S, 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 S. Those ones are obvious. Now I'm going to do my same pattern, S, 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 and I guess I could do caps lock, C, S, space, S, space, space s space s space c and keep going see if you can figure out all of these patterns okay now you and your partner should have this activity guide in shape cutouts you can do with this with the cutout it becomes a bit more tangible in that way now challenge one is the patterns describe your rules and more patterns those are the ones i just hit upon do this let's share our rules with the class so I bet you might have had something different than I just did. Or if you didn't, you should. Try to think of another way. There's a million ways. Maybe you want to start by flipping the first value. Maybe you want to start by doing all possibilities of the second one. Or maybe you do the first two together. I'm not really sure, but there's a million different ways to conceptually get about the same result. So that's a super brief intro to binary or to binary or circle pattern.